Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do direct and indirect proportion. Before starting with the concept of variation, let us revise what we have learned in our earlier class about ratio and proportion. First is ratio. When we compare two quantities by division, by dividing one with the other. When we compare karte hain, ek ko dousre se divide karke, it is called the ratio. The ratio of two quantities A and B is A upon B written as A ratio B. Is tarikhe se likhte hain ratio ko A ratio B. 1 ratio 3, 2 ratio 6, 3 ratio 9 represent the same ratio. For example, 1 ratio 3, when expressed in their lowest term, such ratio, which when expressed in their lowest term, can be expressed as one common ratio, called the equivalent ratio. Next is proportion. If after compare two ratios are equal, they are said to form a proportion. That means four numbers P, Q, R and S are in proportion if P ratio Q is same as R ratio S. P ratio Q equals to R ratio S or P upon Q equals to R upon S. The number P and S are called the extreme and Q and R are called the means. So here P and S, they are extreme terms and Q and R, they are middle or mean terms. If four numbers are in proportion, then the product of their means is equal to the product of their extreme. Or when P, Q, R and S are in proportion, that means this implies that P ratio Q equals to R ratio S and P into S that is equal to Q into R. Next is concept of variation. We all know that the area of square depend upon the sides. The larger the side of the square, the greater its area. Any change in the measure of the side of square will bring the change in the area of the square. Here, the side of the square and the area is called variables. Means, if side change, hogi, to area bhi change. Hoga. The change in the variables is called the variation. The time taken by a train to cover a given distance depend upon the speed. The more the speed, less is the time taken. If the speed is less, more is the time taken. If the speed is more, the time is less. If the speed is less, the time is less. This is another example of variation. Let us take another example of variation. Books and their cost. Let us suppose the cost of your mathematics textbook is rupees 80 then the cost of two books is twice the cost of one book for example the cost of two books equals to 160 rupees and the cost of three books is the thrice of the cost of one book so the cost of three books equals to jaga rupees 240 and so on first is direct variation Let us suppose that the cost of one capsicum mushroom pizza be rupees 70. Then the cost of two pizzas will be rupees 140 and the cost of three pizzas will be rupees 210 and so on. Let us represent the information in the form of table. So here number of pizzas they rakhe cost in rupees is 70. 2 ki kya ho 140, 70 to 2, 3 ki 210 and so on. So Ratio of number of pizza and cost to jayega 1 upon 70, 2 upon 140, 3 upon 210. Agar lowest term mein change karenge. So, the ratio kya ho jayega 1 upon 70. Each ratio kya hoga 1 upon 70. Have you noticed as the number of pizzas increase or decrease, their total cost increase. Agar number of pizza increase honge, to cost bhi kya hogi? Increase hogi. If the number of pizza decrease, then the cost will decrease. So, 
the quantities are varying but in such a manner that the ratio of the pizzas and the cost always remain the constant jo ratio hai wo kya rahega constant rahega such a variation is called the direct variation means agar ek quantity mein increase ho raha hai to dusre mein bhi increase hoga agar ek mein decrease ho raha hai to dusre mein bhi decrease hoga that is the case of direct variation thus the two quantities are said to be in direct variation if the increase for decrease in work quantities leads to the increase or decrease in the other quantity in such a way that their ratio always remain constant we say that one variable varies directly as the another thus the number of pizza vary directly as the cost next is constant of variation let us consider another example of direct variation radius of the circle and its circumference if the radius of the circle be r cm and the corresponding circumference is 2 pi r cm where the pi is an irrational number and is a constant let us express the relationship in the form of a table so here radius of the circle is given 1 2 3 4 and so on circumference 2 pi r means 2 into pi into 1 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi 10 pi like this so the ratio of radius to circumference will be 1 upon 2 pi 2 upon 4 pi 3 upon 6 pi 4 upon 8 pi and so on when expressed in lowest term 1 upon 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi so the ratio of radius to the circumference always remain the constant here from the able table we can say that the ratio between the radius and the corresponding circumference is the constant and equal to 1 ratio 2 pi now we'll take an example if the cost of 8 kg sugar is rupees 168 find the cost of 15 kg sugar here the quantity of sugar is increasing so the cost of sugar will be increase जैसे जैसे क्वांटिटी बढ़ेगी कॉस्ट भी बढ़ेगी सो दिस इज द केस ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन लेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ 15 के जी शुगर विल बी एक्स सो हियर वी हैव टेकन द क्वांटिटी एंड हियर द कॉस्ट इन रुपीस सो इफ द क्वांटिटी इज 8 के जी द कॉस्ट इज 168 रुपीस इफ द क्वांटिटी इज 15 सपोज द कॉस्ट इज एक्स नाउ वी नो दिस इज द केस ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन सो द रेशियो ऑफ द क्वांटिटी and the cost will remain constant so we'll write 8 upon 168 equals to 15 upon x so the value of x cross multiply karenge 8x equals to 15 into 168 x equals to 15 into 168 upon 8 so the value of x is 315 so the cost of 15 kg sugar will be rupees 315 clear so this way we can find out the cost next is x size 8a if the cost of 18 pen is rupees 423 find the cost of 25 such pen so as we know the quantity will increase the cost will increase so this is the case of direct variation here we have taken two column quantity and cost 18 pen कॉस्ट रुपीज़ में है 18 पेन है कॉस्ट इज 423, 25 है एक्स है सो डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन का केस है सो राइट लाइक दिस 25 अपॉन एक्स सो एक्स इक्वस टू हो जाएगा 25 तो so, x इक्वल टू हो जाएगा 587.50 रुपीस दैट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ 25 पेन सो जब भी हम क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करेंगे फर्स्ट वी विल सी वेदर इट्स केस ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन और नॉट देन वी विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज इनवर्स वेरिएशन वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर that if x and y are two quantities such that increase in x lead to the proportionate increase in y 
decrease in x lead to the proportionate decrease in y then we say that the quantities x and y vary directly now let us consider the following example let us suppose that we have 10 pizzas we have to distribute these equally among certain number of children if the number of children are 10 obviously each child will get one pizza if there are five children then each child will get two pizza if there are 20 children each child will get half yani one by two pizzas let us write in the tabular form so here number of child is given 10 5 22 40 and 80 number of pizza each will get if number of child is 10 then each will get one pizza if five each will get two pizza if number is 20 then they will get half pizza if two each will get five pizza so product x and y 10 into 1 10 5 into 2 10 20 into half that is again 10 so here product will remain same or constant from the above table it is clear that as the number of children increase the number of pizza per child will decrease when the number of children decreases the number of pizzas per child increase however the product x and y being always x y equals to 10 remain constant when the number of children decreases from 10 to 5 number of pizza per child increase from 1 to 2 the change in the number of children is given by the ratio 10 ratio 5 equals to 2 ratio 1 while the change in the number of pizzas is given by the ratio 1 ratio 2 or 1 by 2 observe that 2 is the inverse means reciprocal of 1 by 2 thus they are inverse proportion similarly when the number of children increase from 10 to 20 number of pizza per child will decrease from 1 to half the change in the number of children given by the ratio 10 ratio 20 equals to 1 ratio 2 while the change in the number of pizzas is given by the ratio 1 upon 2 equals to 1 upon 1 upon 2 equals to 2 ratio 1 or 2 upon 1 thus again we notice that they are the inverse proportion as 1 by 2 and 2 upon 1 are reciprocal of each other in the above example we have seen when one quantity increase the other decrease proportionately and when the one quantity decrease the other increase proportionately the kind of variation between two quantities is known as inverse variation we say that the two quantities vary inversely means agar ek increase hogi to dusri decrease hogi usi proportion mein aur agar ek decrease hogi to dusri increase hogi usi proportion mein that is the case of inverse variation next is constant of variation we have seen in the above example that when two quantities x and y vary inversely and increase in one leads to the decrease in the other and decrease in one leads to the increase in the other in inverse variation we have also seen that the product of x and y remain constant x into y equals to 10 into 1 equals to 5 into 2 equals to 20 into 1 by 2 equals to 2 into 5 equals to 14 into 1 by 4 equals to 80 into 1 by 8 that is equals to 10 so the product is the constant of variation for the inverse variation that's why when x and y vary inversely we write x equals to 1 upon y or x equals to k upon y then x y equals to k that is constant and k is positive next is inverse variation and proportion If x1 and x2 are two different values of x and y1 and y2 are the corresponding value of y, then x1, y1 equals to x2, y2 or x1 upon x2 equals to y2 upon y1. This result is useful in solving inverse variation problem. Also, x1 upon x2 equals to y2 upon y1 that is equals to x1 ratio x2 equals to y2 ratio y1 or x1 x2 y2 and y1 are in proportion the following are the few example for inverse variation the number of people and the time taken to complete a job as the number of people will increase 
the time taken will decrease the speed of vehicle and the time taken to cover the fixed distance the cost of the community and the quantity when the amount spent is the fixed amount the number of people and the share each one get from the fixed quantity volume and pressure of gas these are some cases of inverse variation now we'll take an example 25 pumps can fill a reservoir in 18 hours in how many hours can 45 such pump do the same work solution here pumps are increasing so less time will be required jaise jaise pump ka number badega time kya ho jayega kam ho jayega let the number of hours required be x hours so the number of pump 25 hai to number of days hai 18 if number of pump are 45 it is x so this is the case of indirect variation so 25 into 18 equals to 45 into x ho jayega so x equals to kya jayega 25 into 18 upon 45 so that is 10 so 45 pump can fill the reservoir in 10 hours clear next is exercise 8b 14 men can dig a canal in 48 days how many men can dig the same canal in 21 days so as we know days jo hai wo kya ho rahe? Kam ho rahe. that means number of men will increase so this is the case of inverse variation so we'll take quantities number and days number of workers 14 hai to days lag rahe 48 and suppose x hai number of days ho jayenge 21 so this is the case of inverse variation so i'll write 14 into 48 equals to x into 21 that means x equals to kya ho jayega 14 into 48 upon 21 so you jaga 360 32 so 32 men will complete work in 21 days clear so while doing all these questions first we have to check whether it is case of direct variation or indirect variation and accordingly we will do the question so you have to practice all the question here we end the chapter i hope you understand it well now you have to practice it